Hello, we're going to review the Excel 2, um, the functions, and do some troubleshooting tips with it. So this is your on and off dial. You want to make sure that when it's off, you hear a click so that it doesn't drain your battery when you're not using it. This is the sensitivity dial, which you only need if you're doing acupuncture point detection with it. Otherwise, you can just keep it at zero or anywhere. It doesn't really matter. This is your dial to set your frequency. So once your unit is on, you will see a number at the top. To check what frequency you're on, just push the stimulation button and it will tell you. So I'm now on one hertz. And if I change it, I'm now on seven hertz. So that's how you check exactly which frequency you've chosen. The Excel has two grounding plates, which as a practitioner you can hold or not. Um, this is the one on the side and then there's one on the bottom. Or your client can um, hold the ground. If you don't want to hold the grounding plate, your client can hold the ground and then you don't have to be touching the grounding plate. If you don't want to use this, or should you lose it, or should it break, you can always still use the device as long as you are grounded and your other hand is on your client. There's also a polarity switch uh, depending on the positive or uh, negative output. Usually we keep it on positive. Sometimes if you tend to think that the stimulation has changed, make sure that this hasn't switched to negative because it will feel different for some people. So now some troubleshooting tips. If your unit doesn't turn on, this one will, but if it doesn't turn on, if you don't see anything in the screen or when you push, you don't see a flashing light, then try changing the battery uh, to make sure that it's not the battery. And always make sure that your unit is off so that you can save the battery. If the unit turns on, but you can't feel any sensation or it's intermittent, check to make sure that the tip is screwed on tightly. Um, check to make sure that the polarity is switched to switch to positive, as sometimes this may affect the feeling. And check to make sure that you're grounded and that you're pushing to stimulate. Sometimes as we're using the grounding pole, maybe the wire has broken or we're not sure if it's the wire or unit. So when you test it, if it's the wire, make sure that you turn the unit on and then without pressing any buttons, just hold the grounding pole and the tip together. You should hear a sound. If you don't hear a sound or the sound cuts in and out, then there might be something wrong with either the wire and the grounding pole or sometimes the jack. We can always get replacement parts for this one. If you've done that and there's no sound, the, you can also check the stimulation by without using the grounding wire. So you make sure you're grounded yourself you push the, stimula the stimulation button and then you should be able to feel it on yourself. 